This is third grade, chapter four, unit review here. And this is the third part in this video series. And this is questions eight through 12, problems eight through 12. So we're gonna start with question number eight. Kate drew seven octagons. An octagon has eight sides. How many sides did Kate have? So we wanna know how many sides Kate had. Here's a picture of an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. She drew seven of those, seven octagons. Each one has eight sides, so we're working the problem seven times eight. Hopefully you know that seven times eight is 56, and that is your answer to that one. Jose buys six bags of flour. Each bag weighs five pounds. How many pounds of flour did Jose buy? So our question, how many pounds did he buy? He has six bags of flour and each bag weighs five pounds. So you can count, you, you're gonna multiply six times, oops, six times five, let me draw, make that five there, six times five, you can count by fives very quickly, I know, and that is 30, so it's 30 pounds. The next one wants you to use the distributive property. It says break apart the array to show eight times six is four times six plus four times six. And remember that when we have four times six, we want four rows of six. And here we also want four rows of six. So one, two, three, four rows of six. There's that group. And here's four rows of six. You can just draw your line right there, however you wanna do it. If you want to know the answer, 8 times 6, this gives you 24, and this gives you 24, and that total is 48. So 8 times 6 is 48. The next problem says, circle the symbol that makes the multiplication sentence true. So we have 9 times 6. So when you have problems like this, boys and girls, you need to work both sides. Find the answer to this expression, find the answer to this expression. So 9 times 6 whether you do the nine times six on your fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you hold that down and you get 54 that way. I always did it this way. Nine times six is 54. Or you just know that in your head, nine times six is 54. And here, because of the associative property, I'd rather not say three times nine is 27 than 27 times three. I would prefer to work it like this and use the associative property and say nine times nine. And nine times nine, if you want to do it on your fingers, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 81. That's how I learned to do my nines. Of course, hopefully at this point, I've got them memorized, and I've got 81. And so I know that 54 is less than 81. This last problem says, Roberto wants to make $2 using dollars, half dollars, and quarters. So he's going to either make it with dollars, half dollars or quarters. How many different ways can he make two dollars? So for this problem, we're gonna use a strategy to make a table, which was one of the lessons you learned in this, in this unit. So I'm going to make an organized table. So I'm talking about Roberto, and he wants to make a total of two dollars, and he wants to use that using dollar bills, 50 cent pieces or half dollars and then 25 cent pieces or quarters. So that's why he wants to make it. So we're going to start with what's the simplest way he could make two dollars. Well he could use two one dollar bills and if he uses two one dollar bills he could have two dollars. All right so what if he used one one dollar bill? If he used one one dollar bill, that's a dollar, and he used two fifty cent pieces, two fifty cent pieces equals a dollar, so he has two dollars. Okay. What if he doesn't use any dollar bills? Well, then he could use four fifty cent pieces, and he would have two dollars. What if he only used three fifty cent pieces? Well, 
I need to make 50 more cents, so I would use two quarters, and that would give me $2. Oops, oops it didn't mean to put that there. $2. So now I could use two 50 cent pieces, and that would mean I would have to use four quarters, because four quarters make a dollar, because two 50 cent pieces are a dollar, and there's a dollar. So that's $2. What if I only used one 50 cent piece? And then that would make me use six quarters. And so that would give me $2, because that's 50 cents. And then six times a quarter is $1.50, so that's $2. And then what if I don't use any of those? That means I can use eight quarters. And eight times 25, or eight quarters, would give me $2. So how many ways do we have to make $2 using dollars? 50 cents and 25, 25 cents, or dollar, half dollars, and quarters. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways that we could work this problem. Now, your teacher would expect to see this work, or however you organized your information, along with the answer of seven different ways. So not just a number written down here, but also the work that you did to solve the problem. It's very important so the teacher can see your thinking. That's the end of this part.